Hey, this is a quick video I'm going to show you about reskinning one of the Billbox Master Collection games that came as a bonus. This is a human cannonball. Very cute game, nice gameplay in it. And I thought, well, this is a uh, good game for us to do uh, some substitution and make it into something that we could say is our own game, you know? So I really liked how the gameplay was. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to change out the background first. I've pre-set up all my artwork so I could make this demonstration pretty quickly. And uh, we're just substituting. We're not actually necessarily putting in much new stuff into it for this demonstration. So I uh, put in the background, do some resizing of it just to make it uh, fit how it's supposed to fit. Then I'm adding in one layer into the background so that you can get a little parallax going. So I put it to the background behind the art uh, that's supposed to be up front. Then I'm just adjusting the speed of it. Next I'm changing out the cannon. You find it on the left, switch it on the right. So there we go. We've got our cannon, just check it in the different levels, readjust the positions as necessary. Then for these swinging boxing gloves, I've changed it out to some saws which I got in the bill box artwork and um, constructed. Change out the uh, character, put in a robot, kind of like a mini Iron Man, he has some flames coming out the bottom. So, change out his movement, and then I'll change out the defeated animation as well. And here we got our character. Go back to changing some platforms out, readjusting the size, and find the clown character, change him out. reposition as necessary that should look pretty good and that boxing glove that flies across the screen I'm going to change that into an evil spiked ball which is an animated for PNG sequence it needs to readjust the size Again, go back and change it on some more platforms. Trying to keep the theme color similar to the background. And this is artwork, the platform artwork here I got from the Robo Bird game. You also have to go into the shape editor and uh, change out all the positions of the collision shapes to now fit the new characters and new platforms, etc. Of course, it's still seeing the old layout, so we have got to do some major adjustments there. There you go. Let's have a look and see how that looks. Not too bad. Gotta change those cannonballs, you're not seeing them. Alright, let me just go to the menu page. That whole menu background was animated PNGs. I'm actually getting rid of that, putting in a static background. And then I'm going to put in an animated sequence for my main character. So he'll be floating around with that background. 
put in some of my existing UI buttons that I have from a previous game. Had a main menu button, so I figured, well, I'll put that as a label. I'll put in the coin shop button. And of course, you know, you got to resize these things accordingly. I didn't have an information button as yet, but I'll put that in there for now. All right, so let's see how that looks. Now, a little rough, but it's, it's working. And here's what a nearly finished product looks like. So you give you an idea, much smoother there on the menu screen. I've done a fair bit of additions. Added the Robo Bird and Rockets and lots of cannons. Kept some gameplay. I hope you found this video useful and good luck with your games.